Now all at a sudden these experts start talking, millets are resilient foods. Who are they resilient for? What nonsense are we talking about? They have been the food for time immemorial and they will be the food for time to come because they are the super food. It is this hundred years of stupi stupidity of human race that's a blip in the human nature, in human culture that will be remaining as the biggest mistake that human made, humans made because they consumed nature. They consumed the planet itself. In the name of green revolution, in the name of white revolution, in the name of pink revolution and one more they are brewing it up called blue revolution trying to make tadrupi the carbon copies of the fish the same fish repeat tons and tons aquaculture so each and every color revolution green revolution created a glucose imbalance white revolution that is so called milk milk complete food declared these experts Milk is a food given by a mammalian animal to its baby as the first food which is actually switched off in the breasts of each mammalian animal within a particular specified period be it in humans it is around two to two and a half years that means human being should not consume any other milk other than mother's milk. And imagine the mother gives birth to the second baby. The first baby doesn't come and drink. The same mother, the same breast, the same nipple. But the milk is not meant for the first baby. It is meant for the second baby. So here, here we have all the experts declaring milk. Complete food. We have written in our science books. That's because the so-called white revolution happened in Europe and America all at a sudden mothers decided not to feed their babies they wanted to have some other means of feeding their babies they looked around and for heaven's sake they didn't even have a cow in their countries they came to India and said oh we will take one of them and they took one of our cows and this cow is giving only one liter two liter milk what nonsense is this I take thousand cows, it is only thousand liters. What is this? Even if all the cows bear kids, thousand cows, all thousand cows do not give calves. Only hundred or hundred and twenty gives. So then they said, we will do something called IVF, in vitro fertilization. They took the sperm of the bulls, artificially inseminated each and every cow and made all thousand cows give birth and that was also not enough they said we will feed hormones do genetic modifications and make this cow give 25 liters of milk not one liter then they said hey guys you look we have taken your cow and our cow now gives 25 liters your cow gives only one liter we are number one so we call a1 milk then all at a sudden our milk became A2 milk. <laughs> this is the story of that. Then oh, we have milk, tons and tons of it. Feed your babies, left and right, center and middle. They started feeding the babies. Lo and behold, what happened? All at a sudden, within a matter of 20 years, girls in America and Europe started menstruating at the age of 9. Five. Now it is three year old gay girls are menstruating. It is the hormonal imbalance that you are directly causing by the consumption of milk. It is, we are not drinking milk, we are consuming milk in tons and tons and tons. Now the highest amount of water consumption is to produce milk. To produce one liter of milk you need 25, 2,500 liters of water to be consumed. You see how our food 
started consuming the nature's elements in large quantities. In fact, not even a drop of milk should enter your mouth because mother's milk digesting enzyme is switched off in your gut at the age of two and a half, three as the mother's milk dry up in her breasts. That is what science is all about. You give fox tail millet milk. In fact, there is a variety called milk namane in, in, in our language. Hal namane. Halu namane. It gives milk. And you feed that milk the babies because the fiber in the milk cleans up the nerves and the lungs. The best food, best milk that you can give your weaning baby is the fox tail millet because the nerve system becomes so sharp that your kids grow. So we did that. We gave the fox tail millet milk to the mentally retarded kids. Lo and behold, in a matter of six months, these mentally retarded kids become normal kids. So it's because the mothers and fathers drank milk, the mentally retarded babies have started born. You understanding how we are manufacturing diseases? The hormonal imbalance, PCOD, endometriosis, uterus fibroids. The women started facing all these problems. The doctors are very happy. Gynecology departments, mushroom, billions of dollars of business. <coughs> billions and billions of dollars of medicines and every disease is declared as incurable and manageable so the management of the health started becoming a big business so called pharmaceuticals now india alone pays 20000 billion rupees per year to manage its diabetic patients. In its true sense, if only all these diabetic patients start eating millets, these five millets, matter of 35 days, they can throw away their tablets and insulins and be free of diabetes. We can close down the hospital. Can we? Yes. Should we or not? Yes. We have done these experiments in large numbers because the fibers of these five grains control the release of the glucose into your bloodstream so beautifully, so regulatedly that your glucose imbalance is brought back. Hormonal imbalance falls in place because the glucose not in balance the endocrine system starts functioning properly in a matter of three to five days. Your <coughs> immune system starts gaining because the microbes that are lost are brought back. There is a simple technique called ambali that is fermented porridge of these five grains in a matter of ten days reverses your microbial imbalance and you start having the doctor within your body. You don't need doctors in the multi-speciality hospitals taking care of you. You need a doctor within and that is your ambal, fermented porridge of these things. And this was the food habit of millions of people for millions of years all over the planet, fermented porridge which took care of the people's health and instead of inculcating these wonderful food habits that makes the doctor within strong we have eliminated this food habit from all over the planet and the only one to blame is processed foods processed foods am i making myself clear So, what do you want? You want the pills 
and the hospitals to run around or you want to get back to your kitchen and cook porridge in a mud pot tie the cloth keep for 8 hours so that the fermentation takes place diversified microbes enter your mud pot earthen pot and you drink that every day 10 days all that it takes your vitamin b12 the most important thing that no animal can make the microbes will make for you and regulate for you so 180 diseased conditions can be balanced if your vitamin b vitamin c and vitamin d are regulated and we have been drinking so called fortified milk with vitamin D in the last 30 years and the one and only vitamin that is deficient on this planet in the human race is vitamin D and these experts have been routine that you need to fortify milk with vitamin D they have been doing tons of vitamin D we have been drinking but it is not helping anyone because the real vitamin D is made under your skin when cholesterol gets converted to vitamin D when you have Surya Namaskar in our part of the country in the morning sessions when the sun is rising the 12 different frequencies and they are actually the names of the Surya Bhagavan Pushna, Maitri, Bhan, Bhaskara, Arka, Ravi, Aditya. All these are not actually the names of the sun. They are actually the frequencies of the sun when we see on the horizon the sun coming up. And these are the 12 frequencies that have direct link and incredibly our 12 systems get activated including the circadian clock, adrenal system, pituitary, thymus, thyroid, your testicles and ovaries in the women. That means it is so important for any human body, forget about human body, any mammalian body, the sun rays have the basic and foundation of health because but for this activated wonderful hormone regulating bodies called the Nirnala Granthi, the endocrine system, there is no health in your body. And the only other ingredient needed was C, vitamin C, which is actually the chelating embodies of mango, lemon, tamar tamarind, gooseberry, all these sour things are actually curating agents of the salts and they have a great role to play in salt metabolism. So vitamin C, bone strength, immunity, many pathological imbalances to be brought back to nature, so nature's uh, balance is done by these three wonderful vitamins, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D. So if, 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 if you guys mind about these three imbalances that we have created due to the food practices of this corporate industrial food culture, glucose imbalance, microbial imbalance, hormonal imbalance, and then the correcting components of vitamin B and C and D that can be achieved by the utilization of these grains. Am I making things clear to you? How easy it is to be healthy? How easy it is to maintain the balance of water on this planet? It is the dams that are built for this so-called green revolution guys is the major cause of global warming 
because it is 10.1 billion tons of carbon dioxide footprint that is produced by agricultural industry and industry only. The remaining carbon dioxide imbalance, the footprint that all these experts are talking is only 4 billion. All things put together. So out of 14 billion carbon dioxide tons per year footprint that we are producing, 10 billion tons is because of your rice, wheat, sugar and the UPA products, the byproducts called wheat. Are you understanding the problem clearly? And all the experts are talking, we will have green technology, that technology, this technology. With all these technologies, what are we going to accomplish? Little bit of that 4 billion carbon dioxide footprint, nothing more. So that means even now they are hiding the problem. That is the problem. The problem is in the industrial food that we are all consuming very conveniently running around the hospitals having the average human body weight is now 88 kilos which should be 61 kilos. Now I heal many people who are 90 kilos, 100 kilos, they come down to 60 kilos then after everything is over, all the diseases are cured, whether it is cancer, type 1 diabetes, everything is done. They say, sir, I should be fat. I am losing my weight. Baba, you have to lose your weight to be healthy. The highest height, 6.5 feet, you should not weigh more than 70 kilos. Now 4 feet women are weighing 100 kilos. 